Okay, welcome to our first How to Draw with Whitnell Elementary Rockin' School of Art, or Rockin' Art School. We're going to start off by learning how to draw Squidward. So first off, we're going to start off with his nose. He has an egg-shaped nose, just like that. And then, we're going to do his mouth, because he's not happy. Oops. If you mess up, you can always pause the video and start back over, or just keep going. I like to try and fix my mistakes while I'm working on it. Let's see here. Do the mouth. And then, let's, see, let's get the eyes in here. And do like this. Almost like a W. Looks a little weird. It'll work. And do a little curve. Another little curve. Up here, we're going to do a line because his eyelid on this one almost looks like he's closing his eye. He is not happy. Probably mad at SpongeBob again, right? Do some squares for his eyes, little rectangles. Do a little line there. Let's not forget this eyelid. A couple of lines over the top. Just get the side of the face. And like I said, I'm going too fast. You can always pause the video. Um, trying to make sure my camera is not going to stop on me like it did the first time I tried this. Let's see here. Ooh, he does not look happy. There's a neck. Shirt. Looks like a letter V with wings, so we could turn it into an M. Like that. Curve this one back around for the collar. And then we're gonna come down here and do two straight lines. Kind of curve out just a little bit. You can connect it with a curve. Do his sleeves, almost like little rectangles that come back in, little curved rectangles. Bring those lines up just a little bit. That part. Uh, let's see here. Let's see if we can go and get the all done. Curve it out, in. Same thing on the right side, out and in. A lot of this you'll notice that we're doing the same thing on both sides. And then we're going to come in. Straight to the side. He's going to have his hands on his hips. <clears throat> Excuse me. Down, down. Over here, we're going to curve around and back in. Same thing on this side. And then we can curve these up to the tip. Don't forget the little suckers on his hands because he's a squid. And then a long line down. I'm going to curve this out. Cut this out. Sorry about that. And then we take where we stopped, and we are going to take and curve the feet up like this. And then curve them back in just a little bit. This one will actually curve in and go straight back up. This one, however, will come in like this and go up. You'll see a little bit of a foot back here. Oh, cannot forget the tentacle part. Same thing on this side. And then you'll actually see more of this foot and leg as it goes back in and up. And ta-da, we have Squidward.